Part three of the Christmas Oratory by Bach starts and finishes with the most wonderful triple rhythm dance, a chorus, Herrscher des Himmels, ruler of the heavens, uh, encourages in our prayer. Uh, then the shepherds uh, step center stage, as it were, and sing, let us now go even to Bethlehem. There's the most magnificent duet, almost a love duet, for the soprano and bass. And the heart of the cantata is the alto aria, Schieße mein Herz. And this is one of the few arias which Bach composed specially for the Christmas Oratorio. And it's the most intimate piece, accompanied by Wein Obligato and the alto solos. Thank you. That's all of the rehearsal tonight. It was a he heck of a day, but thank you for making it so joyous at the end. And you feel now and again in the Christmas Oratorio that there are um, also these sensations of, of, of nature at work, of, almost of, of, of the buzzing of the bees, as it were, and, 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 and of, of insects and, and uh, bird life and so on, of, of all coming together. And, um, I, I think that, um, that Douglas Adams has got it absolutely right when he said this is the music of flocking and swarming things, of things that flow and bubble and rise and, f and fall and fizz, of things tense and constrained that suddenly fly free. And I, I think that sums up really what, what I feel about Bach in, in his kind of euphoric and ecstatic mood, that it's music that flies free and that despite its incredible rigor and its the discipline and um, uh, almost mathematical proportions that, that govern it, there is the sense that from that, the, the, the human spirit is allowed and to float and to fly free. one of the distinctive marks of Bach and what distinguishes him from, say, Mozart, who in his operas conveys the whole uh, range of human emotions of the, the human situation, both in its absurdity and in its elevated state, or uh, distingu distinguishes him from Beethoven, whose music tells us a lot about Beethoven, a lot about what it is to be Beethoven and what it is to, to feel intensely and to take on the universe and to be, to, to be struggling with the universe and, and, and to, to grapple with all those elemental forces. Bach does it in a much more straightforward way. He tells us what the universe is really like. He tells us what it is, it's like to be a human being as part of the universe and he tells us how our aspirations are to a godhead, to a life beyond. Sounding better, but we must have you both on a rostrum. One of the things that nobody's wholly satisfactorily explained is the standard that Bach reached with his choir and with his instruments um, in the Thomaskirche and the, and the Nikolaikirche in, in Leipzig. Did the audiences of that day experience absolutely sublime performances conducted by the master of his own works, or did they? At the other extreme, hear what we might call a travesty, where things so desperately out of tune because uh, the kids were cold, the organ had gone sharp, the harps had got gone flat, the instruments were squawking, the strings were snapping. What was going on? Um, we just we 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 don't know. Uh, what we do know is that Bach was 
uncompromising in the difficulty of some of the solo parts and the obligato uh, lines that he gave his singers and his players. That's, that's absolutely clear. Um, whether he accepted a huge kind of error factor in his performances, we don't know. Um, and it would be the most total bogus misuse of authenticity to try and reproduce that. Uh, what we're trying to do is to do the best, to give it our best shot. And that's an incredibly difficult thing to do in the sense that these instruments, particularly the reed instruments and the brass instruments, are treacherous. Um, they're technically fallible instruments. That's why they were replaced in the 19th century by much more technologically superior models. But what you lose with the technologically superior models is the particular color and sound and um, flavor, as it were, of these instruments. Du sagst ja sehr. 